Hey yo, what's poppin' poppers? I'm kidding, that's a Ride the Pop Guy reference. If you guys don't know him, he's pretty funny. But, I don't wanna give him the spotlight for too long. Anyways guys, um, hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are going to be doing another late night eBay finds. So let's get started. Now, we haven't done one of those for a while, and I've wanted to do one, and I, everybody always says, go look on eBay, find a late night eBay finds, go find something on eBay, and really, the thing is, it just kind of comes to me, and I've had a lot of them that have been in a row for a while there. We got a lot of cool Batman ones for like 20 bucks. Um, now, this is one that I've wanted for a while, because what, like Cletus has been doing, um, he, if you guys don't know, he's another Funko YouTuber, um, but what Cletus has been doing, and I'm looking at them over there, is he's been buying the Chrome Pops as they are to the colors of them. He's not been buying all the gold ones just because they're gold. Um, I, I do agree with that one there. Um, but I will be getting a couple of the gold ones, not all of them, but I think the one that I got here um, was one of the best ones to get. It was not one of the new Marvel 10-year ones. This is an older one that I, I could have never got unless I had a certain card, and you guys are probably knowing what I'm talking about here. Um, but I've got this to open up, and then I want to talk about a super expensive pop that I bought over at uh, Fan Expo this year in Toronto, but I never really had a good video to put it in. Um, before we even open this up, guys, it says do not crush right on it, and there are large dents in the side of it, so I'm hoping this pop isn't just sitting in there, because that would be pretty worrisome, as you guys can see here, worrying. I I'm worried about it anyway, is what I'm saying. Um, so I hope this came in good condition. Um, it looks like they shipped it well. Maybe it just started to come in a little damaged as they were throwing it around. I didn't say throw, it said crush, so, you know, male people take it literally. I don't know. If you work at the post office, no offense. Um, but yeah, let's see what we've got here. Uh, so, I'm just trying to think of a good way to cut it so I don't cut into it. So, maybe we'll take it from the bottom here. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's do this here. So, uh, let me give you a... Well, what else have I gotten from Late Night eBay Finds before we get into this, actually? I've gotten White White Lantern Batman, which was my first Fugitive Toys exclusive. Um, I've gotten... Uh, oh, I can't even think of it. The Joker Batman, that was another cool one. Um, Doug from Up was another one. This one isn't the most expensive thing. I think I paid $24 overall for this. So I thought this was a find, in my opinion, so... Really, here's the thing, guys. When I call it a late-night eBay find, I, I usually mean that it's a bit of a deal, and I'm not just paying retail for it, which is nice. Like, with Doug, I paid $10 cheaper for it, so it wasn't that much of a find, but it was, still was cheaper. So that's why I'm calling these late-night eBay finds. And also, guys, if you like that intro there, Quentin made that one for me a long time ago. Um, I just thought I'd, I, I liked it for this series, so it's actually a really nice intro. So thanks, Quentin, if you're watching. I know you're not, but... Anyways, guys, so let's get into the pop here. So I just cut it open, and you guys can see from the back here what it is, but you don't know which one it is yet, so let's see what we got here. Let's hope it's okay. I haven't taken it out yet because, you know, I, I couldn't have. But um, whoever sent this looks like it came in pretty good condition. I don't see any dents or dings. I mean, here's the thing. $20 wasn't a bad price for it. It's not like it was too cheap, and I was thinking, oh, it's probably not even going to come in nice, or it's not... Great, but yeah, guys, this thing looks... No! Oh. I can rebox this, but I don't want to. Well, this is sad. Okay, guys, so we paid $26 for this, and it came in damaged. Now, I know some of you guys are like, oh, it's just a little bit of damage. And I understand sometimes when it's just a little bit. But guys, look at this. Now that is a late night eBay fail, if anything. I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but look at that. It is completely crushed on the front. I mean, here's the thing. It's just the normal Iron Man box. So I could probably, is it? Yeah, they're both 285. So I could probably switch this out if I wanted to. Um, I don't know if I will. But uh, this is this is so sad. I wanted to order this one off eBay because I don't have a Target red card because I'm Canadian. So I thought this would be the best way to get it. Now it's damaged. So I'm not Lamar Wilson. I'm not going to rip open the box because I'm going to keep the box. So if any of you guys have a good way to try and get another box for this, let me know. Because this is literally just the normal box for it. I just don't want to pay another $10 to get the same box. If you guys know what I mean, like I'm literally paying for the box then, and it's a really cool pop, and I th I think it's so nice, guys. I wanted to display this one in box with the rest of them, 
Because guys, look at this thing. The pop came in perfect condition. It's just the box. Did they ship it like that? I wonder if I could do something with that on eBay. Because I literally opened it up right on camera. So I wonder if I could somehow get a refund for it because of the way they did it. Because seriously, guys, it said mint condition right on the thing. I can go back and check the listing if I wanted to. And I'm pretty sure it, it said mint condition. There was no damage on it. The box was in oof, condition like the outside box. And I swear it's a mint condition right now. I'm gonna have to look back at that, guys. I'll have to check in on you. I'll keep you guys updated in another video if you guys wanna ask about it, or maybe I'll talk about it on my Instagram or something. I don't know. But um, that's really annoying. I was like, okay, box looks good on the bottom, but the top looks good, and then it came in completely damaged. So that's really annoying. Maybe we'll find out if it said mint condition on the thing, because it should have. And look at that thing. Oof. Anyways, guys, in better news, Let's move over to my other um, pop that I want to talk about today, because this thing is really, oof, I don't like this. I don't know. It's whatever. I mean, it's okay, but um, it's just really annoying to have something like this happen when you pay full price for it or more than it's really retailing for, because um, it had to come with the movie. Also, if I didn't explain this pop, you had to get this with the Target red card because it was the Target exclusive. You buy the movie. And, or you pre-order the movie and it comes with this pop. So that's why I wanted to get this one off eBay because that way it'd be a lot easier to just get it for that. And then I wouldn't have to worry about getting the movie and everything because it'll be on Netflix eventually. So I waited and I ordered it on eBay. But let's talk about the other pop that I want to talk about. Oh, I hope you guys didn't see that. But I want to talk about the second one here because this is a really cool one. This is one I got from Fugitive Toys. If you're watching, hey, email me. I'm open for a sponsorship or any video for a pop. I don't know. Hey, I'm just saying. But um, we are here, and I ordered this. I got this one at Fan Expo Toronto. Now, this is why I like ordering stuff, or not even ordering stuff. I like buying stuff over ordering stuff online because you know that you're getting a nice package here and that it's going to come in good condition because, like, you're literally looking right at it. The pop's going to be in mint condition. You're paying a lot for it, so you know it's going to be nice. But the one that I got here, guys, is the Target Dog, which is Bullseye. Now, as you guys can see, the sticker on the front there is what I paid for it. Um, it's worth about this, or maybe a little more. I'm not sure. This was Canadian, too, if you're wondering. Not American. So, Canadian 120 is about, I think, Bullseye is worth about 100 American, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. So, it comes out to be about that price. So, I kept the price on there just, just for fun. Maybe I'll move it to the back, because this is what Fugitive Toys does at their booth. They put all of the um, post-it notes on there, just to let you guys know what the prices are. So, I kept the post-it note just for fun. So, maybe I'll put it back here instead. That'll be better. Um, just so that way I still have it. Um, but as you guys can see, um, this is Bullseye, the Target Dog. I've never taken this one out of its box, so maybe I will today. Um, but this one says, Bullseye has been Target's official spokespop since 1999. He's the life of the party wherever he goes, from stores openings to award shows to Hollywood red carpet events. He might just be the world's most lovable bull terrier. So it is a real dog, guys, if you didn't know. it. Um, I believe they paint the Bullseye onto him, so I'm not really sure about that. Actually, this post-it note's bothering me. I'll know I paid 120 for it. Um, I believe they paint the bullseye on him, which is pretty eh. But um, it is a really cool dog, and I think this is awesome for it to be a spokesperson. Then it's also for the ASPCA, which Funko LCC, or, you know, Funko will donate $50,000 in honor of Pop Pets to the ASPCA. So that's really cool that they did that. And um, this was a couple years ago. This was 2016. So let's take this one out of its box, guys, and show it off, because I want to show this one what, what it looks like. Plus, I haven't seen this one out of its box yet in person before, so let's look at it. And this is one of those ones that I've wanted for a long time, and it was in mint condition. Stickers even in the perfect spot. As you guys can see here, Pop looks amazing. So I want to also give you that little tip that I always tell people if you're going to keep your boxes in mint condition, especially on a Pop like this or one like that. Um, you take a little knife or a credit card or anything for that matter. You find the right side and you just put it in there and you tip it and it should just pop right open. It also it depends on what side you're doing it on too. So if you do the little, there we go. Now guys, there's no crease in the middle where your finger would have been, which is cool. Which means they've also never opened this one up as well because there was no crease. Unless they did it like that. But here you go guys here. This is the bullseye or bullseye target dog. This thing's a really cool pop. I like this thing a lot. As you guys can see here, this is one of my favorite ad icons that I've gotten so far. I mean, there are so many different ad icons, but this one has to be my favorite, I think. Um, there's so many cool details with this one, and I just think it's it's awesome. Uh, what else do I have for ad icons? I've got Jeffrey the Giraffe, Diggum Frog, uh, Bazooka Joe, the Noid, Sugar Bear, Captain Crunch. 
Um, I have a cool one coming in from the Funko shop soon. As you guys know with the ad icons, you'll probably know the most recent one that just came out. But um, yeah, that one's going to be really awesome to get in the mail because that one's going to be a fun unboxing for the channel. Um, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for today. If you guys have any ideas on what I should do with the Iron Man, let me know. I'm probably just going to see if I can um, email the seller to see, or check my listing to see if it said it was mint condition. Because um, that's kind of like, I don't know, it's probably the shipping, but... Uh, I don't know. I'll see what I can do with it. Anyways, guys, I'll, I'll keep you clo I'll keep you posted on this. Maybe I can just get another box or something like that and replace it. Because a box swap is not that hard for this kind of thing. But anyways, this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching.